Okay, I just got into a bus with Wes. We flew in together to pick up a short bus. I want to show you this cute little short bus. We're just extolling the virtues of such a fine creation. The four window GMC 350 engine base, you know, gas, cause it's easy. How nice. So Wes and I are picking this up uh, from storage. We're gonna take it to the bus fair and we're gonna be camping next to each other with all of our friends. So that's where we're headed. We just landed here in Redmond, Oregon. I'm taking my hand at trying to make a, a vlog. It's gonna be funny. Cause I'm I'm no vlogger, but I, but we we are getting on the bus. So isn't it cute in here? Super cute. Look, Wes is in here. Super cute. Okay, here we go. Check out this view. It's always nice you up in Oregon. And look, I got I've got a chauffeur even. <laughs> We're living that short bus life. Look at all the snacks we picked up. This is like all you need, and I know it's got the stock ceiling, but it's kind of nice because you don't have to worry so much. You know, this isn't your mansion on wheels. This is your, this is adventure. And look, I've even got, I've even got like the, the UPS delivery seat. Well, it's day number negative one at the bus fair because it's Thursday. We've settled in nicely though. I've got a buddy coming in. I think we're gonna try and park him back there and bang out a solar install. Look. Shane's there, all my neighbors. And uh, soon this will all be filled with beautiful buses and beautiful people. And there'll be music there. Wow, let's, let's do this. As a side note, I've got a plan for that solar install that I'm supposed to be doing today. I wanna hang out with my friends. I booked this solar install because frankly, I need to make some money, but then I had some money come in. So I'm gonna see if I can rope my amigos into just triple or quadruple teaming this solar install and maybe we can get the whole thing done in like an hour i think it would be fun do you think i can talk these people into it it's like the kind of this is the kind of community where you show up with a problem and you'll get 20 people who are like oh i'm gonna give you a hand so maybe i don't know i, I think i'm gonna try it though i got my high viz because i'm doing important stuff brock was even foolish enough look at what he did he gave me a walkie talkie like i can just talk to people on this with great power comes great responsibility and grilled cheese and tomato soup. Okay, so I'm riding the bike around and I got Alex. He's tailgating me, this guy. Look at this. There's Alex back there. <laughs> it's so hard to ride a bike and make a video at the same time. Look, we did it. We got everybody parked in a pretty little row. So everyone give thanks to Gordo for bringing an entire solar delivery system. And now I hired this really expensive delivery guy. Really expensive. Maybe you've Don't seen him. And we're gonna go schlep this across the lot over there to the bus where it's going in. And, and we're gonna try to install a solar system during this Jeez. festival. Cause I'm insane, but look at this. Oh my God. Man. That's how you know it's the summer festival season when you're riding in the back of a pickup truck. Holy shit, oh my God. Woo! <laughs> Those were a little deep. Okay, so we got all our stuff delivered here. We got our batteries and boxes and hardware. We got our multi plus and this is Kevin. This is his bus. And uh, we, uh, we're we gonna try to do this the stupid and impossible and get a solar system installed. I think we can get pretty dang far in the next couple hours. And the goal is if we can't get it done today before he leaves to have his system up and running. Uh, at the very least all of the core stuff, so. Here we go. And just like that, we made a huge mess. Kevin's gonna get to work uh, securing the batteries down. I'm gonna come back in a moment and we will resume mounting all of our stuff. See, see what we can get done today. This is just the way we roll. Look, it's Justin from School We Support. <laughs> hey guys. And it's Devin from the winning bus team at Gutted. We got the whole bus team back together and we're working on Kevin's bus. We're gonna try to get this all done and have it hooked up here in like the next hour. So we're flying, we're doing it all. Look at this, in a parking lot. We're mostly hooked up. So we're gonna power it on for the first time. I'm riding the batteries like a pony. Got the batteries powered on, the breakers are on. Now when we flip the switch, there's a phenomenon called inrush current that happens because these inverters are filled with huge capacitors that have the ability to draw thousands of amps until they're full, which happens very quickly. But sometimes that will cause the BMS on these batteries to trip out. So when we turn on the main switch, 
we'll see. Maybe the batteries will hang in there, maybe they won't. If they don't, we'll just do it again. And I see no alarms, no breakers tripped, and it looks like everything's powering on. Yes, no, I don't know. Are we yeah. seeing alarms? Yeah, it looks, looks like we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that switch on. So yeah, we've got the cover off, but yeah. it looks to me like we just had, yeah, inverter Little on. We got the green light, which we means go. Um, this guy, I'm gonna have to talk to this guy. Oh, no, we're, we're yep. blinking there, so that's on. And, um, oh, let me plug in the Servo GX. Because if this turns on, then everyone's really happy. And then I'll log in with my phone and connect to the smart shunt, configure some stuff, configure the smart solar, and then we're gonna pick this up and finish all the little doodads in the next day or two. Can I just tell you that the light is so beautiful on your face? Oh, thank you. It really is. That <laughs> is a great I feel so gorgeous. supported. Thank you, just everybody. Just don't miss out on that beautiful hat. I'm just saying, if you come to the bus fair, you might get as lucky as Kevin did <laughs> and have us have three people from the winning team of Got It install Let's go! This is, this is Matt. We've been hanging out for a while yeah. and we're on his bus, Matt. Um, what would you say to somebody who, who wants to do this? I would say, don't wait to live your life. Um, you could get a wake up call at any moment. I got one of those and uh, just go do it. Like, don't yeah. wait till things are perfect. You know, you're never ready to have a kid. You're never <laughs> ready to like move out of your parents' basement. If you haven't done that, you yeah. are ready and you should, you should do it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, like, dude, go do it. And you know, you don't have to like overwhelm yourself with all the things you can you can do to a bus. Ask yourself, what do I need it for? How often am I gonna use it? You know, like, we have an insane amount of solar because we have eight kids living on a bus full time off grid. But if you're just gonna weekend for a little bit, you know, um, yeah, yeah, then you don't need all of that. Um, yeah. But do do your best to build it for you. Uh, yeah. Really think through what am I gonna need? Be careful, be thoughtful about it. Yeah. And don't wait to do it. You know, even if, even if you, like there's things in this bus that are unfinished. And, are you telling me it's not finished? Uh, yes. <laughs> it may or may not be finished. But you're it's living finished in on it. Instagram. In real life, you know, <laughs> there's a little bit more to do. Awesome. Uh, but it's worth it, you know, go have your adventure, don't wait. You know, it's like it came to the point where it's like, we need to go have our adventure or we'll be finishing this the rest of our life. Totally. And I would say, just take your time and make sure everything is square and it's hard to get things level but the more things are square in the beginning it stacks up and it's going to make everything a lot easier for you. I'm Jeff with Sweet Sweet Bus Life and the one piece of advice that I would give to anyone uh, looking into this life is actually it's right here. Just do the dream. <laughs> I know it sounds simple but like don't let anything get in the way just do it. Awesome. Just plow through and, and do it. My name's Alan, and our bus is Screw Lifestyle. Our bus's name is Lavinia. Here we so, go. Look around and away. Yep. Yeah. One piece of advice. Yeah. I would tell people plan for unplanned expenses. <laughs> All right. Because you will either live or you will die one way or the other without it <laughs> things break down yeah. you're always going to want to do something mm -hmm. so make sure you plan for it plan for the unplanned you can't well, <laughs> that's the hard part that's the hard part so at some point you just go, gotta go and you hit just, the road you just roll so <laughs> uh, you know i was an uptight when i started this journey i was an uptight asshole and i'm not anymore. look at him now he's got the golf shirt thing happening oh, that the was, dude's on the dude's, long history. the dude's hanging out <laughs> Hi, I'm Allie, and this is my bus, Lavinia. And we are with my husband, Schooly Lifestyle. And if I had one little nugget of advice, I would say, don't pick the cone. Pick, pick the kind of rig that you want for the lifestyle you want. Mm. Pick your lifestyle. So if you want to get to all the crazy hikes and in and out of creative places, don't get a big bus. Yeah. Don't do that. Get a van. Get get a campulence. Get mm -hmm. a shorty with a totally. lift or something. I don't know, but you know, it. Don't buy one of these massive. I just want my house. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, this is a house. Th this is me just wanting all my beautiful shit to go everywhere with me. <laughs> I am Curtis Stairs. This is our, our school bus, the Zola Rose. Zola Ann, I'm sorry, we are, her middle name's Rose. <laughs> and uh, I think if I had any advice for one, one word, it would just be doing everything methodically. Mm. Take your time, take pictures of everything. There's been so many occasions that I broke something and only saved myself with a photo. <laughs> Most of all being the emergency door exits. I cut those wires and oh, my bus wow. would no longer start. So pictures will save your life. Document La it. Label all your bags, label all your bolts methodically, very methodically. All right, my name is Matthew. Um, yeah, I'm at Plus Fair but... 2023. And uh, yeah, you gotta follow your heart. You gotta listen to your dreams. Uh, don't wait for everybody else's approval. I'm Jimmy. Yeah, that's they, Jill. They yeah. We have uh, an Instagram account yeah, at button. Jill on the Road. Take but uh, our our word of wisdom is, you know, don't have any preconceived notions of timelines. Uh, <laughs> it'll take you how long it takes you, and that's okay. Yeah. You agree with that? <laughs> how long have you been working on this one? This is six months of pretty daily labor. And I feel like yeah. they're they're really doing a good job. So it takes a long time. Does. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it, right? <laughs> That's true. Chris with the Sundance bus. Check this rig out. <laughs> so I guess three things. Okay. Um, don't say can't. We run into a lot of people that, uh, I love what you're doing, but I can't do it. Yeah. I mean, can't is the only four letter word that's not allowed around here. We use a lot of the other ones. <laughs> if you've got a dog nose, and you're gonna do a roof raise. Look at this. Earn some real estate back. And what's the last bit here? Ambient lighting. Indirect lighting, even if it's, these are puck lights is what everybody's installing and they're really harsh. Yeah. But for a vibey yeah. vibe, mm -hmm. indirect ambient lights is where it's at. I am Isaac Ravel from DIY Schooly and this is my wife, Julie. Hi. Hi. Uh, and I guess the one bit of wisdom I would give to you is that, you know, having a bus project is like a relationship. There's going to be ups and downs. So yeah. just be ready for uh, just walking away before you just start smashing things <laughs> and then coming back to it and, you know, clearing your head. And, Communicate with your bus. And your bus <laughs> is going to also come to you and, and, like, it'll be serendipity when you find your bus. Like, everybody's found it in a different way. And, uh huh. Yeah, I mean, you'll that. find the right bus for you or it'll find you. Hey guys, I'm Rayla with the Broken Compass Bus. A piece of advice from me to someone who is starting this or thinking about doing this, it is worth it for the community. It's worth it for the friends. You get to meet super awesome people like Chuck Cassidy. I mean, come on. I know that guy. Seriously, like, the community is the best that I've ever found in my life. It just makes the whole journey even sweeter. I am Tyler with the Broken Compass Bus. And I have a piece of advice for somebody uh, wanting to get into this lifestyle. And it's kind of corny and it's kind of cliche, but it's true. Um, there will never be like the perfect time for you to jump into this. Um, you could always just sit around and talk about it forever, but the finances, they're never, everything's never going to be perfect for you. And I would just <laughs> say like, just do it. Life is short. Eat dessert first. Do what you feel like. Eat dessert yeah. first. This is the dessert. So I've been out here judging the schoolies and it's hard to pick a winner. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, even though I'm very opinionated, when push comes to shove, I just want to give all of these an award, you know? I mean, look at all the hard work people put into these to get free and live the life they imagined. Like, it's just amazing. Well, it's Sunday, I missed a lot of the action. These are some of my biggest bus life legends. We've got Wes, we've got Brock, we've got Kyle, we've got Luke. We're the same generation of schooly people. Like, you know, the, the millennial schooly people. If you didn't come, it's too bad because you missed out on a really good time. But, I'll see you next time.
a real bus. Real. It's a real bus with real Kyle. Look at that. That's the dash of a real school bus. Round gauges. For so long. You heard the whole thing with Ricky, yeah? Send it, send it back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look at this. Look at this. It's not even real. Okay, we've all had dinner on this table and uh look at this look at this design so i'm always making right. fun of multifunctional yeah, furniture yeah. but this one <laughs> this one's actually good that's a good one it's really good oh, first of all it's not their bed it's this is all auxiliary so they only do this for special look at this there it goes so trick. now we're in armrest it was on thread it's us now <laughs> Hey, the grandkids are gone. Here's your cushions. <laughs> Could you imagine if this was your grandparents? Because they are real life grandparents. Right side. <laughs> grandparents Un of five kids. Unbelievable to me. <laughs> Look at this. Have a seat. <laughs> no compromises. Amazing. I give that a round of applause. Round of applause. Yeah. Thanks for coming to yeah. the diner. This is, no, this is this is your diner. Oh, We're just the guests diner. here. Life really is a movable feast, and we've become transfixed. <laughs> Why shouldn't we have it all? Everybody's leaving. It's getting sad, it's getting sad around here. Well, I'm leaving the old bus fair, and it was just one for the books. I'll have to tell you, I met such amazing people. And it took me about four hours to get out of here because I'm just so in love with everyone who came out. And uh, if you didn't make it this year, you gotta come next year. You owe it to yourself. Go throw a honk. Down. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Scenic Oak Ridge, Oregon, where dreams come true. I think that's going to do it for this vlog. I got to get some fuel and dump my tanks. Keep this uh, dream alive. Hope you have a great week. See you next time. Oh,